Welcome to Chemistry, I'm Jeremy Krug, and in this video we're learning about how to measure the pressure of an enclosed gas. Now, if you watched my last video, you saw how we measure the pressure of uh, air pressure, a, a non-enclosed gas. Well, in this video, we're looking at an enclosed gas. And the main instrument we use for that is something that is often called a manometer. Now, the way this manometer works is there's usually some kind of a glass bulb or some kind of a uh, a gas container or a chamber here and so we have gas in there perhaps there's a little port some injection port where gas can be injected in there with some kind of a syringe or tube and then this gas I'm sorry this uh, this gas uh, container is connected to a tube and it's usually a glass tube and it is in the shape of a U and so it looks kind of like this. Now this particular part of the manometer that has this, this curvy looking glass here shaped like a U, that's actually called a U-tube, interestingly enough. Now this is the, the U-tube that, that existed long before the, the U-tube that you're watching right now, but it's interesting that that's actually called a U-tube as well. Now. There are two types of manometers, as we'll talk about. Some are closed. They actually have this thing here capped off. Some are open. I'm going to draw this open right now. And inside, we have mercury. So there is a column of mercury in here. Actually, two columns of mercury. And this is all mercury. It's kind of, I don't want to take too much time shooting this in, but this is all mercury in there. And we can measure the difference in the, the heights of these columns of mercury to determine the pressure of that gas right there. So we take a ruler and you measure the height of that, either in inches or in, the, in, in millimeters, and you can find out what the pressure of the gas is. So this is a manometer. This is used to measure the pressure of an enclosed gas. Now let's take a look at a simple manometer, a closed manometer. Now a closed manometer looks kind of like this. This is a much nicer picture than the one that I just uh, scratched out onto the screen there. This is a nice pretty one where we have some gas in there and there's a little valve to keep some of the glass, uh, <laughs> to keep some of the gas closed off. And we have the column of mercury as you can see here. Now in a closed manometer, this area over here in between the mercury and the closed top is essentially a vacuum. So we're assuming that there is basically no or almost no pressure that's pushing down onto the mercury over here. So that means the only thing that's pushing on the mercury on this side that looks kind of green is the gas. So this gas is able to travel along the tube and it pushes down on that manometer. And what we're going to do is use this closed manometer pictured here to determine the pressure of the enclosed gas. Now, closed manometer problems are the easy type because the pressure of the gas is equal to the difference in the column heights. And so, as we can see here, the difference is 278 millimeters. And so guess what? The pressure of the enclosed gas is just 278 millimeters of mercury. And that's the answer. So that's all you have to do in a closed manometer problem. It, it, it doesn't get any easier than that. Now the only way that we could make that problem maybe a little bit harder is say uh, convert that to kilopascals or convert that to um, atmospheres or something like that or, or to PSI. And even that's not too hard because we learned how to, how to convert those pressure units in the last video. Now let's try a manometer problem that's a little bit harder, an open manometer. Now in open manometers, it's different. We have the basically the same setup here. The picture looks a little bit different, but notice the manometer is not closed off here. It's actually open to the atmosphere. So that means that over here on this side of the column, what's pushing down on this side of the mercury? On this side of the uh, manometer, it's not a vacuum this time. It's the actual air pressure. And so 
whatever the air pressure is today is pushing down on that side and we have to account for that. So let's look at the problem. It says an open manometer is pictured here. Determine the pressure of the enclosed gas. So that's this gas sample here. If today's atmospheric pressure is 760 millimeters of mercury. Well, we have to do some thinking here. We have to ask ourselves, looking at the way this gas is pushing down here, we have two sides, you know, the gas is pushing down on the mercury here, and the air is pushing down on the mercury over here. So you want to ask yourself, is the gas pushing down more or less than the air? Think about that. Is the gas pushing down more or less than the air? Now think about this. What what both of these things are doing is trying to push down. Okay, they're both trying to push down. That's what air does. It pushes down on things for the most part. So the gas is pushing down over here. The air is pushing down over here. Well, the gas is pushing down more. How do we know that? Because the level is lower on this side. The air pressure is not pushing down as much. So that means that the gas sample has a greater pressure than the air. So since it's greater, we're going to take the uh, atmospheric pressure and we're going to add that to the column height difference, which is 196. So to find the, the atmosphere, or, or rather to find the gas pressure, you take 760 millimeters of mercury, which is the air pressure according to the problem, and add that to the column height difference, 196. And when you do that, you're going to get the answer. So it looks like it's about 956 millimeters of mercury. That's the answer. Now we could convert that to atmospheres or some other unit, but the problem doesn't say, so we're going to say that that is the answer, 956 millimeters of mercury. Let's try another example. Here's another open manometer problem, but I want to show you what it looks like when it's a little bit different here. So here's another problem. We have another open manometer pictured here. Determine the pressure of the enclosed gas if today's atmospheric pressure is, and somehow that got cut off. So we're going to say it's the same as it was in the last problem. Let's say that the atmospheric pressure is still 760 millimeters of mercury. That hasn't changed. So once again, you want to ask yourself, is the gas pushing down more than the mercury? I'm sorry, is the gas pushing down more than the air, or is it pushing down less than the air? Think about that. Well, I hope you can see that the gas is pushing down less than the air is, because the gas is only pushing down you know, this much, but the air is pushing down even more. So since the gas pressure is less than the air pressure, we subtract. Less than means subtract. So we're going to take the atmospheric pressure, 760 millimeters of mercury, and we're going to subtract the column height difference, which is 55 millimeters of mercury. And when you do that, we get an answer of 705 millimeters of mercury, or 705 tor, if you prefer. And we could convert that to some other unit, but it doesn't say, so that is our answer. So I hope that by looking at these examples and, and watching this video here, that you've learned how to solve manometer problems. They're not difficult if you understand that the gas is trying to push down on the mercury, the air is trying to push down on the mercury. You want to ask yourself, which is pushing down more? Is it the gas or is the gas pushing down less than the air? So that's the key to answering these these questions and solving these problems. I hope you enjoyed the video. hope you learned something. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so that you will be notified of any uh, uh, future videos if you ring that bell as well. I'm Jeremy Krug. I teach chemistry and I've been teaching chemistry for over 20 years. I uh, hope to see you again uh, sometime where we can learn some more chemistry together.